So I will describe a case of a patient who had cancer that spread to the adrenal gland. This is called adrenal metastasis. I just treated this patient last week with a minibacscope adrenalectomy for his adrenal metastasis. Prior to seeing me, he had already undergone significant treatment for his kidney cancer. He had had a previous right nephrectomy and left adrenalectomy for metastatic kidney cancer. So that means they had already removed his right kidney, which contained the original cancer, as well as removed the left adrenal because the cancer from the kidney had spread to the left adrenal gland. So let's review his CT scan now. So the, the big white arrow points out where the cancer is now. So now he has cancer that's come back in his right adrenal gland. Uh, you also see the liver and the spleen marked out. And it, the cancer measures about two inches, about five centimeters or so. So now we're facing a dilemma. Uh, he already had his left adrenal gland removed and now he's got cancer again in his right adrenal. And he was told by the doctors that sure, you can have this cancer removed, but now you're gonna be dependent on taking cortisol replacement, steroid replacements for the rest of your life, meaning having to take prednisone and dexamethasone uh, for survival. It's very important to have a surgeon who really scrutinizes your scan because when I looked at this scan, I told him, well, maybe that's not correct. Maybe you still have the left adrenal in place. And indeed, in the red circle, you can see a completely normal left adrenal gland. So whatever they did during the first operation, they surely did not remove the, the left adrenal gland. So, and how can I prove that? Well, that's where these numbers come in. These are the results from his cosyntropin stimulation test. This is a test where I can test how the adrenal gland functions when it comes to cortisol production. So the way this test is done, it's done at 4 a.m. in the morning, right after the operation. And we'd get the baseline cortisol, that's sort of where his cortisol runs early in the morning. But then more importantly, we want to see if the adrenal gland can be stimulated to produce cortisol. So how do we stimulate it? Well, we give him, the patient a small dose of ACTH, which is a normally occurring hormone produced by the pituitary gland. So as you can see at 30 minutes and 60 minutes, his cortisol levels shoot up and that's a perfectly normal response. That's exactly what would happen in me uh, that have my adrenal glands still in place or any person that has at least half or one adrenal glands. So I proved that indeed he has perfectly normal cortisol production. Uh, this uh, picture shows the cancer after it's been removed. So not, not only is he now cancer free, but he also doesn't have to take steroids for the rest of the life. So he can live a perfectly normal life going forward. So surgery for adrenal metastasis can be used to treat and sometimes cure cancer that has spread to the adrenal gland. The most common cancer spreading to the, to the adrenal glands are breast, lung, kidney, colon, rectal, stomach cancer, as well as malignant melanoma. This is very advanced surgery and should only be performed by the most experienced adrenal surgeons. And you also need an experienced surgeon who is a better radiologist than the radiologist to scrutinize your scans, meaning looking at the CT scan, MRI, PET scan to decide uh, what operation is the best and, and come up with a plan. This shows uh, the pathology from another patient and this uh, very pale sort of pinkish area shows the lung cancer that has spread to the adrenal gland. Uh, whereas you can see the adjacent normal ad adrenal cortex.